So now let's see how we can add in members to existing group conversations. So over here in the last lesson, we actually made this. So we made uh, a group conversation that is a direct message uh, group for Bob and Tutitube 2. So what I'm going to do is add in the third person Charlie right here. So I'm just going to go around here and then go on to the members section. And over here, you can see that you can add in people. And you can notice that there are two messages here up already. I'm just going to add in a third message as well called hello. So now in order to add a member and make it a group of four, I can simply click on add member and I can add as many member as I want. So I'm just going to click on this. And what happens is that once I do that and click on go, what happens is that the group is created. So I'm just going to go around here add in Charlie right here, just like this, click on go. And then what happens is that another group is created. That means the uh, three, the group with three members are still there, but the, uh, but Charlie was not added to the existing group, but a new group was created right here. And that is to protect privacy right here. So whenever you send private, uh, private messages, what happens is that there are like pass messages right here. Uh, just like this. And then um, the past messages might be something that you do not want the new members to see. So whenever you add in uh, a new member onto, uh, the, onto the group, what happens is that a new group is created with that additional member and the additional member won't be able to see anything uh, that is that that is um, that has been discussed about before he joined out and this is very handy to protect our privacy so that is how you can add in members to group conversations inside of slack so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe